Look at what the hotel sent us. Are you as appalled as I am? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Forget appalled. I'm shocked. This is so unfair. You don't get it, do you? I haven't got a clue. It's our room confirmation for Valentine's Day. Just, just re read the part I highlighted. Junior suite, partial ocean view. Partial. I reserved a full ocean view. Well, damn it. <laughs> Tell them to get the hose and fill that ocean. You make fun, but trust me, a partial ocean view isn't nearly as romantic. Well, not if we're having sex and you're complaining that you can't see the ocean. <laughs> so then we're agreed. Yes, this is Greg Montgomery. I have a reservation for a full ocean view room, but your confirmation letter says partial ocean view. Yes, I'll hold. Don't make him cry, honey. Yes. Well, since it was your mistake, I think an apology would be in order. Oh, he's gonna cry just like that woman from the gas company. Apology accepted. Full ocean, terrific. And and what's your name? Well, uh, Jeffrey, I hate to tell you, you're running a sloppy operation, but uh, I also noticed you don't have my credit card number. Yes, three seven two seven. Uh, can you hold on a sec? Hello. Uh, yes, she is. Who may I say is calling? Um, say again. Uh, uh, hold, please. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, I have to call you back. Uh, Bob Dylan's on the other line. <laughs> Why would I make that up? Uh, Bob Dylan, I, I have Dharma for you. I'm her husband, Greg. Hey, Roberto, how's it blowing? Uh huh. Well, that depends. Who made that decision, Bob's heart or Bob's head? How do you know Bob Dylan? Didn't I tell you? No. Bob, hang on a second. Okay. okay, remember when I was playing drums in that garage band? D and... No, no, talk to Bob Dylan. Could you get the door, honey? Yeah. So, sure. Hi. Sorry, Bob, go on. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm happy to talk to any of your friends. I mean, as long as they understand that I only offer suggestions, they're the ones that change their lives. No, you're so cool. No, you're so cool. <laughs> Dharma, Lyle Lovett's here. Tell her Bob sent me. I've been having a hard time lately regarding some personal matters, and Bob said if I was ever in San Francisco, your wife was the person to talk to you. What? Hi, Lyle. I'm Dharma. Hi. Hi. I know I should have called. I hope this isn't a bad time. Well, my husband and I were just leaving for the weekend. Uh, Dharma, Dharma, okay. Uh, wait, okay, could you excuse us for a moment, Mr. Lovett? Call me Lyle. Lyle. <laughs> Lyle Lovett. <laughs> Be right back. Make yourself at home. Lyle. <laughs> Look, I have no idea what's going on here, but do you really think that leaving now is the, the right thing to do? Well, we have plans, and he did show up unannounced. I mean, it's a little rock star rude, don't you think? <laughs> He'll hear you. Come on, Lyle Lovett's in there. He's all screwed up, and he needs your help. Come on, how great is that? Well, I can talk to him on Monday. Well, what if he's all better by Monday? Well, then I guess one of us will be happy for him. You can't take that chance. Why don't I just call the hotel and tell him we're running a little bit late? Okay. Right, call him if he starts singing. <laughs> Uh, yes, is this Jeffrey? Yeah, this is Greg Montgomery. We, we just spoke. Oh, yes, the gentleman who had to take an urgent call from the Beatles. <laughs> How can I help you, Mr. Montgomery? I just wanted to uh, let you know we're running a little late, and uh, I just wanted to be sure you'd hold the room. Uh, Mr. Montgomery, you don't have a room. What do you mean? Well, even a sloppy operation like ours requires a confirmed reservation. Without one, you know, we were compelled to give your room away. But I have a confirmed reservation. I gave you my credit card number. No, I believe you're in the middle of giving your credit card number when Neil Diamond phoned. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. I'm sure you've got another room in the place somewhere. It's Jeff Ray. <laughs> now, let's see. You gave me a partial credit card number. Why don't I reciprocate with a partial ocean view? <laughs> That'll be fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be there later tonight. 
We'll leave a latch on for you. <laughs> it's funny. I've got everything a man could ask for, and yet I feel this hole inside, this emptiness. Go on. And nobody really knows because I hide behind this big, happy face. <laughs> hey, L Lyle, um, can, I, can I get you something to drink? How about a, 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 a tall, frosty one? Sure, that'd be great. You got it, partner. <laughs> Maybe it's physical. Are you getting enough rest? Do you sleep well? Like a bass player. <laughs> hey, 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 this ought to wash the dust off of those spurs. Thank you. Look, I don't want to embarrass you, but I am a huge fan, you know, going way back, like, before anybody liked you. <laughs> Thank you. Honey, Lyle has some stuff he wants to talk about, and it's kind of personal. This thing that's bothering you now, you think you'll turn it into one of your songs? Greg, <laughs> could you give us a few minutes? Oh, sure. I have you on vinyl, you know, records. <laughs> He's a big fan. There was a time when the adulation of others was all I needed to get through the night. Well, good morning. It's time for Lyle to love himself. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I just, um, I, uh, I wanted to show you this. I, I took lessons when I was a kid. You know, in camp. In camp? Yeah, you pick two sports and one art. Uh, you know, uh, I did uh, swimming, archery, and uh, guitar. <laughs> Here. It's very nice. You can have it if you want. Right. right. I want to be happy like him. <laughs> Look at my guitar. I got it at camp, idiot. Little in at the cove, may I help you? Oh, Mr. Montgomery, thank goodness we were getting worried about you. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, it looks like we're, we're not going to make it tonight. Oh, well, you're in love. It's still early. We have a list of couples just waiting for your room, so you won't be charged. No, no, we're not cancelling. You're not cancelling, but you're not coming. Well, we're just an enigma wrapped in a riddle, aren't we, Mr. Montgomery? <laughs> We'll be there tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. The Valentine's package requires a minimum three-night stay. Oh, these are special circumstances. I've got, I've got Lyle Lovett crying in my living room. <laughs> really? No. Oh, was it something the Pope said to him? <laughs> Look, charge me now for all three nights, and we'll be there first thing in the morning. Very well, Mr. Montgomery. And if I'm not at the front desk in the morning, do feel free to talk to our day manager, the late, great Mr. Yul Brenner. <laughs> Morning, doggies. <laughs> Did you guys eat a cowboy? <laughs> My point is, the music industry can suck the life right out of you, and I know. I used to work at Sam Goody. <laughs> So stifled his creativity. It was all about selling records. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Morning. Morning. Hey, Greg. Greg, hey. What are you doing here? House sitting. What are you doing here? Greg, you have to try Lyle's flapjacks. He's making them in the shape of animals. You get rabbits. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. 1972, I said to Mr. Goody, not his real name, that someday, all music would be sold electronically over the internet. You knew about the internet in 1972? Only I didn't call it the internet then. I called it the World Hive Brain. <laughs> they said he was crazy. <laughs> Dharma. Dharma, wake up. What? Lyle Lovett's making breakfast for your parents in the kitchen. I smelt pancakes. What? Why is he still here? Oh, it was late and he crashed on the couch. He slept on the couch? He's a musician. They can sleep curled up in a sink. <laughs> mm, yeah, 
This is a real big breakthrough for him. What is? The pancakes. D did he have a, a fear of pancakes? Mm. I was an artist. He lived in his head, so I thought by encouraging him to do simple chores, you know, like cooking, that he could find his way back to the present moment, which is where happiness is. I guess in the context of the things that have happened since I met you, that makes sense. <laughs> Morning, boys. You fellas ready for some pancakes? I want Lyle. I spend a little more time here, so can we leave later for the hotel? Well, I kind of uh, paid for all three nights, but hey, how often do you get to hang out with Lyle? Love it. Thank you. Oh, whatever you do, don't talk about his music. You're kidding. No, oh, and don't bring up the movies. That's a real bugaboo. But without that, he's just some skinny guy making pancakes. Exactly. But you have to let him figure that out for himself. <laughs> what I could get for this on eBay. Hey! Hey! Did you get a new job? Nope. But you know what's really cool? Hmm. Come in here, cut up some cheese, and hand it out. Nobody stops you. Oh, tasty. I thought you and Greg were going away for the weekend. Mm. Well, we're still going. I'm just helping out a friend of mine. I got the yams. Oh, no, honey, those are sweet potatoes. Aren't they the same thing? No, sir. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Is that loud loving? Yeah. Weird. Well, you think a grown man would know the difference between a sweet potato and a ham. <laughs> this says dry clean only. Mm. Cold water, delicate cycle, drip dry. You can do that? Who's going to stop you? Live and learn. <laughs> Dharma, I can't tell you how much fun I'm having just doing simple, everyday things again. No, I'm having fun, too. Good, that makes me happy. We're both happy. Happy, happy. Slappy, happy. Slappy, happy, pappy. Slappy, happy, pappy. You know, maybe we ought to open a window if we're going to keep working with this piney stuff. <laughs> Slappy, happy, piney, hiney. Uh, no, we'll, we'll definitely be there for dinner. Would, would, it, uh, would it be possible to get a, uh, a table with a view? How about a partial view? We're nice looking people. You're going to want us in the dining room. Fine. What, whatever you have. Hey, Greg? Yeah. Is it possible I just saw popular country singer Lyle Lovett sweeping your carpet? No. Okay. Hey, now you have the number of where we're going to be. On the refrigerator. Don't hesitate to call. I won't. You'll be fine. Oh, well, honey, there's not a lot of food in the house. Give him $40. I, I'm okay. You two go have a great Valentine's, and don't worry about me. Don't forget to write in your feelings journal. I feel kind of silly doing that. You feel silly? I guess I should write that down. Yeah. That's my boy. Dharma, <laughs> could you explain all this to me again? Explain what? Well, just start at Bob Dylan, and I'll stop you when it makes sense. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, we're on our way. Just the two of you. Or should I set up a rollaway in case the irrepressible Rita Moreno drops by? <laughs> You're a very funny man. Listen, I know the dining room stops serving at nine. Is there any way that you could get them to uh, wait for us? No, not really. <laughs> uh, well, what if, what if we order now and we put it on my credit card? That way it's paid for no matter what. Uh, well, I suppose. Valentine's dinner comes with a choice of chili and sea bass or rack of lamb. Uh, one of each. Oh, very good, sir. I think you'll enjoy
Janet. Our guest chef this evening is the divine Miss M. <laughs> Another good one. See you soon. Well, we're all set. Good. Lyle's gonna be fine, right? Yes, of course. I got you the sea bass. Uh, did you leave him the cell phone number? I think so. You think or you know? He'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> Are you still disappointed the weekend didn't work out? Well, I wanted it to be romantic for you. You know, candlelight dinner, ocean view, or partial ocean view. How's this for a partial view? Why do I ever leave the house? <laughs> hey, hey. I love it's playing my guitar. <laughs> singing. It's like our own private concert. I made some pancakes. What was wrong with the first thing? I don't know. I had to wash me some clothes. I had to go around and sweep up the <laughs> Sounds like he quit. Come on. Michael Rose. Hallelujah. I wonder what camp he went to. Does Lyle Lovett live with us now? Honey, you're the one who wanted him to stay. Yeah, for a really cool evening of singing and storytelling, but I didn't think that I'd be waking up to the sound of him gargling in my bathroom. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Morning. Hi, Lyle. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'll leave. No, no, both of you. I really appreciate the time I spent here. I feel recharged. Like I've got a new set of tools to build a stronger, happier Lyle. You're leaving, aren't you? Afraid so. I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. I signed those CDs for you. Oh, thank you. And I put them back in alphabetical order like you had them. Right between Loverboy and Luau Favorites. <laughs> Oh, man, he's, he's leaving. Come on, let's see him off. Oh, my little birdie's ready to fly. Remember, when life seems overwhelming and like nothing makes sense. I know, yard work. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Listen, Dharma, hmm. if a friend of mine needed your help, it'd be all right if I hooked the two of you up, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Well, good, because I was talking to a buddy of mine last good night. Good morning. Who's ready for breakfast? <laughs> Katie Lang. And I took the liberty of getting her started on the program. <laughs> Listen to this woman. She's very wise. That's what Bob said. When you make their bed, hospital corners on his side only. <laughs> Greg. I want to thank you for making me feel at home. Anytime, Lyle. Come here, cowboy. <laughs> I might just write a song about all this. I knew it. Remember when I said it? You said it, honey. <laughs> and remember, uh, uh, a lot of stuff rhymes with Greg. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dharma. 
Katie. Oh, you're in a lot of pain, aren't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Let it all out. Well, be in the bedroom. <laughs> I can't stop buying shoes. <laughs> Hello. My son informed me that he paid for a holiday package and there's one night left. Let me guess. You are the proud parents of Mr. Gregory Montgomery. Well, I'm proud, but there's no pleasing her. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I've got some very bad news for you. I've given his room away. Oh, dear Lord. To whom? To some friends of his. Perhaps you know them. King Farouk and the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> Do you have two single rooms? <laughs> Time!